Alright ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Officer O'Leary here today. Guess where we're going? You guys guessed it. We're going to Six Flags! And uh, yeah, right now we're heading into the main entrance over here. You're off 539 or 7. I, yeah, I always get 539 and 537 confused. Why do all the numbers in this county have to start with a 530 blank? It's just so annoying because I always get them mixed up. Anyway, yeah, we're here. It's gonna be awesome. Really nice, beautiful day out. It was raining this morning, so I don't think too many people are here. And you know, that's always a good thing. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, because it is Saturday. And uh, well, needless to say, there is quite a few people here. I lied. Okay, so you gotta expect a little bit more people than usual. You know, during the weekday, you get like marginal crowds. You get a lot of those school groups. There's really not too many buses here today. There's probably like 10 buses maybe over in the corner. Not too bad. I always like to give you guys a little update on the parking situation because you guys are always asking me, do you think it's going to be crowded on this day? Do you think it's going to be crowded when I go? And to tell you the truth, I don't really know. So I'm just going to like document whenever I'm here and uh, kind of show you guys firsthand what the lines are like and, and what everything looks like on a day like today. So it's, you know, Saturday in early June. It's pretty early in the season. All right, guys, we are here at the park. I'm pretty sure there's a, is this a dance party going on? It's not the usual dance party host. Never again. Never again. Here we go, we got Bugs Bunny Ranger Pilots. Nice little spinny kitty plane ride. I'm pretty sure you can control where the plane is, like you can make it go up and down and stuff like that. Pretty awesome. And then over here we've got the lakefront. We're gonna walk right over here. Get a nice little view. It's pretty beautiful. Got a little miniature Ferris wheel themed to little kind of Stogo wagons. Porky the pig. And then over here we've got a nice little stage area with some bleacher seats. It's pretty cool, I guess. I don't know what type of shows they have here. I briefly walked through this area the other day and uh, they were having a show. It looked pretty cheesy, so I didn't stay and watch it. Obviously, a lot of the shows in this area are geared to kids. Of course, it's in the Looney Tunes kids area. And this area is fairly new to the park. I think it opened up in 1999. I'm not 100% sure exactly the year, but I'm pretty sure this section was opened pretty late. Like, it's pretty new. Looney Tunes can kitchen. You can get all sorts of stuff here. They have turkey legs, cotton candy, churros. You heard me, Brandon? They have turkey legs. We got a little, nice little carousel here. It's cute. What about the Skyway being fixed? That, that's why I just stopped. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of crazy. Because that line gets real slow. Yeah, the log flume line? Yeah, it doesn't move too quick. Alright, let's go on the log flume. Screw it, right? Hurry up. On, what are we doing? Flume ride! Flume ride! And who has their stuff? Uh, uh Jackie. The... My girlfriend. Yeah. I'm not getting wet, but I will hold your stuff in Oh dear, this thing is leaking. Oh, it's wet. Ah, God. Oh, oh all over the face. Good thing this phone is waterproof. So, the, <laughs> we have we have a dilemma. It's 65 degrees, sunny, but still kind of chilly. But bit. there's no line, so let's freaking go. Let's go. Got the actual sawmill over here. It's not go, much. Go under the fence and look up. It's huge. <laughs> There we got the very unique log flume loading station over here. It's got a rotating platform. Uh, log flumes were traditionally built like this in the 1970s before they modernized the loading stations. It's kind of interesting. It's a giant rotating disc and uh, the ride operator stands in the center of the platform where the staircase connects to it and it's, sta it's stationary in the middle. Quite interesting. And up here we've got the little lake over there. Fun fact, back in the 1970s, back when the park first opened, uh, I'm not sure if it opened with the park, maybe a couple years later, they had a boat ride over there where you could actually row boats around in that little lake area. It's pretty awesome. Alright, we're on the log flume right now. My phone's waterproof, so this should go pretty good. There's somebody at the top of this lift hill though, so I'm a little bit worried. Alright, I'm going to put you away for now, and then when we lose sight of them... Oh god, oh, this is rough. What is this? Uh, you okay back there? Yeah, oh god. This is rough. Oh. This is... Okay, we're up here in the log flume. Pretty crazy. We got the best of the west over there with Bizarro. This is the windiest log flume ever. Look at this up ahead of us, guys. There's no drops, it just winds around itself over and over again. 
This is uh, also one of the original part, uh, rides that opened up the park in 1974. It's a pretty awesome ride. It does whip through these turns pretty fast though. Alright, we got a drop coming up pretty soon. Oh dear god. Are you ready, John? What? <laughs> what language is that? <laughs> oh, this worries me. Bye. Are we gonna die? <laughs> oh no, what the fuck? Ah! Jesus. Oh, that was actually quite smooth. Oh, ow. Oh, oh. Jesus. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Hi. <laughs> Golly, I didn't expect to get wet right there. Oh no, what on earth is this? Oh God, help me. There's King to God and El Toro over there. Fountain. What was that, John? Might have something to do with it. We got, we got the last drop over there. It's gonna be scary. Oh Jesus. Okay, we got the weird rotating platform here. I'm standing still. The platform's rotating. Alright. That's fun. Surprisingly, I didn't get in trouble for my phone. <laughs> Alright. Not too bad. It is starting to cloud up a little bit, which isn't good because we just got off and we're soaking wet. I'm pretty wet actually after that. My phone's a little wet too. How are you? I'm dry. Yeah, hey, he's pretty dry because he was sitting in the back. I got the brunt of the action up front. Well, I, uh... <laughs> that's great. I was told by somebody that you weren't allowed to take your phone out on the ride. I don't know if that's true or not. Or I maybe I just don't know if they care. I don't know. They just probably didn't care. Yeah, it was good. It was fun. It's official. I'm a dumbass. I actually, I actually uh, walked all the way back to the uh, ride platform because I thought I forgot my water bottle. Turns out I left it with my friend's girlfriend. So. I'm a dumbass. That's okay. All right, so now we are going to head over to the mine train, right over here. But first, I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle, which they make you empty at the main entrance now. I'm gonna refill that and then go to the bathroom, and then we're gonna ride the mine train. And of course, I'm not gonna be able to film because these are my old glasses. I didn't mention that before, but I actually don't have my new glasses yet. They're coming in the mail on Monday. Uh, I got a confirmation from uh, Pivot Head, nice email, told me that they were expected to arrive on Monday, so that's great. We're just meeting up with uh, John and his girlfriend right now, we're gonna head on to Mine Train. Woo! Choo choo! <laughs> we've got our uh, newer air brake system over here, but if you look closely right over here, you've got the original system for the, uh, the uh, what were they called? Uh, mine Train was shaky as always. John, Mine Train. Right now I'm not really sure where we're heading. We're gonna make up some plans. There goes one of the Safari Alfred adventure buses. Why don't we hop on the overhead? Is that on the Skyway? The overhead. The, the, the Skyway? Yes. The overhead. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Oh wait, Sean. You mean the Von Roll Type 101 Skyway? The Aerial Tramway, yes. Yeah, it's not quite a tramway, but... Yes, I have your phone. All right. I feel like we've been in this section of the park for quite a while right now. Like, and we are going to go that way. And now we're going into the fort. Jackie, can you do your... Some girl was walking by El Toro and she saw that huge gap in the structure and she's like, is it supposed to be like that? That's not safe. Ladies first. 
<laughs> Maybe a little bit off the top center, but that's okay. <laughs> It's a nice view. I want to like hold my camera like this the whole time. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Why are we rolling back? We're rolling back. Help. Parachute Tower. Right in front of it, that little flat ride there. Yeah. Flips you around a lot. Yep. Yep. It's part of the 1999 War on Lines where they added over 20 new rides and attractions, including the one and only Bizarro. Right back over there. They invested multi millions of dollars to revamp uh, the ride. It's a very cool project. They should definitely do something like that in the future because it'd be really cool to see a lot of new rides just added in one season just to see what happens. Good, how is it? Alright, well, how's it working? I don't know. Great. <laughs> I think I might have had a seizure there for a second. I'm not sure. Thanks. Alright, let's go. So, we might do Batman or Skull Mountain now? Not sure. Jackie doesn't like high thrill rides, so we don't usually ride anything too intense in two tiers. We like to keep on the full ride. Skull Mountain, you know, Dark Knight, Mind Train, stuff like that. <laughs> We're gonna head over to Congo Rapids right now. We're uh, we just got off the Skyway. We're heading over there. Now we're right when by Primo's Pizza. Last time you were on Congo Rapids, Sean. Oh crap! When was the last time I rode Congo Rapids? That's a great question. It might have been a couple years ago, actually. Not sure. Yeah, I don't know. First, we need to use our meal plan because it's like 2:30 or 2:45. We got to use our meal plan before three because it, there's no meals between three and four. So we're gonna head right over now to Nacho Nacho and uh, grab us a nice burrito. I don't know, I might not get a burrito actually. They took the quesadillas off the menu this year, which is kind of disappointing. I love eating the quesadillas here, they're really good. But yeah, they're not on the menu anymore, so I can't get them. What are you gonna do? Chicken burrito. Three. Stop bringing don't food. make this in the house. <laughs> we had a huge breakfast this morning. Okay. Nitro's getting ready to peek over the top. Not the steadiest game for I'm sorry. Construction update, the work wall is still up over there. Way over the fence, you can see a bunch of construction equipment. Some tractors and whatnot, backhoes. Over here we got the Dark Knight. Big ass wild mouse of a box. I don't know. They might ride it. The building is very ugly. I don't know why they ever put this here. They should have kept Batman and Robin the Chiller and just worked on it. And then Movie Town Water Effect was back here too. Yeah, they, they got rid of three good roller coasters, well, three good rides to build this one giant wild mess in the box. It's, you know, not optimal. Batman ride. And right over here. What's going on? Mike, what's going on, bro? It's good doing? to see you here. You're in a vlog. 
Hey yo! He's a working height stick right now. Funnest job in the park. I said funnest because it is though. It's really boring. I remember they stuck me once on a height stick at Skull Mountain. I was bored out of my mind. I got hit by an air gate when I was trying to uh, like move around, like trying to check the guests. <laughs> I got hit by an air gate. Oh no. <laughs> That's so stupid that they make you walk by the air gates and that. If the operator opens it and doesn't see you, safety's everything. Yep, pretty much. All right, have fun. See you later. Yep. That was cool. He actually posted a comment on one of my videos last night. He said he recognized himself operating Nitro in one of my videos. So I looked through one of the videos and I found him actually operating it. And it's pretty cool. So now he's actually officially in the vlog. But we're going to catch up right now with John and Jackie and we're going to head over to Congo Rapids to try and get on that real quick. Congo Rapids time! I'm excited. I haven't ridden, I, I haven't ridden this in a while. Let's go around to Michael. Oh, right. No slide. You are too far. It's kind of a weird feeling. Show me if I ever look like this. <laughs> <laughs> Big look. Yeah, I need to know. Yeah, we got Nitro over there. Jackie's waiting on the bench. She's got all her stuff. I don't know Nitro. I've been on Nitro over 30 times so far. Oh, Golly. No, this season, I mean. Oh, look out, the G Willikers. Batman. Here we got congrats. We are gonna get soaked. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty crazy, I think. The water's actually high with shit. Oh yeah, they they keep it pretty beefy. <laughs> pretty beefy. So see how the water cannons can be activated? And that aims it to which loading chute you're gonna go to. Yep. Tiny, that'd be awesome. Oh, it... What is this? No! Oh, oh, oh god! 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 I don't know about you guys, it's crazy. John's soaked. <laughs> my butt is wet. Yeah, my butt's very wet. My butt was wet as soon as we sat down. But that was awesome. Uh, definitely have to ride that more often. I never get my I never get a chance to ride Congo Rapids because it's always really busy. It gets a long line and it's just always super busy. So it was really cool to get on that. It's cool to bring you guys along with me too. Don't confuse this with totally kicking chicken, because it's not. It's just totally chicken. There's no chicken in that name at all. But it does say totally kicking chicken on there. It's weird. I don't think it's on the dining plane here. Oh, no, yeah, it is. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there's another totally kicking chicken location over here by Nitro. In case you guys were ever wondering. Hey, come here. What? We're not taking a selfie. We're taking a video. Oh. This is a video. I'm old. Shush. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, right, that's special. Okay, so we're right now we're heading over toward uh, Dark Knight. Big wild mouse in a box. Ugly building. It, it's a cool ride and everything. It's just a weird building. So, yeah, let's go. It's gonna be awesome. There's actually a pretty long line though, so I don't know. I don't know about this, guys. I don't know. Switchbacks are going. It's movie town. And it's playing some crazy music. Guys, where are we? In line for the Deja Vu. This is Jackie's favorite ride. John likes it too, it's pretty good. It's pretty crazy. I'm gonna sneeze. Uh oh, don't sneeze. Look at the sun. You have food all over your face. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Bless you. <laughs> oh, that hurt him. <laughs> I love when they go like through to a car and they get squished. We're not doing that. This is one of my favorite flat rides too, actually. I do really like these. This was actually in the park for a long time before it came back. It wasn't here for a while. They removed it and then now it's back. It's, a, it's definitely a classic. I think every I think every good American amusement park should at least have one. Nice, nice, decent long, decently long ride cycle. I did. What's the point of that sign up there? It's got like nothing in it. It's just like an explosion of nothing. You see that? Why is that a thing? <laughs> Over 
over here. We got our own one. We'll buy ourselves. We'll wait for the attendant to come around and check my seatbelt. So yeah, I can't record on this ride with my phone, which sort of sucks, but I'll uh, definitely get my fifth heads. Uh, Monday, actually. Yeah. That's cool. John! You ready? You ready? Guess so? I don't know. Guess he's ready. Get out of the car! It's amazing you can fit three people in here. Like, it's such a small car. It's crazy. And the old school Great Adventure logo. I love that. I love it. Love it. Old school Great Adventure logo. Right there. Like, that's the logo, that's the logo from 1978 until like 1990 something. That's the logo from 1974 to 1978. Nice. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Useless information that I don't know for no reason. Oh, question. Yeah. Six of the flags. What are the flags? Uh, six flags are the flags of Texas, I believe, or the or the uh, the countries that had territory in Texas, or six of them, I believe. Were there? Yeah, I think oh, okay. that's what it is. It's something to do with the, Why the Texas? Texas state, because that's where Six Flags was founded. Oh! Yeah, the first Six Flags park was in Texas. Six Flags, I believe, over Texas was the first one, or... I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there I knew was, you would know that. There was Astro World, and... Yeah, cool. Not a lot, a lot of interesting history of Six Flags. <laughs> That ladder climb thing is like nearly impossible. It's really hard. Anybody that can do that, I give them major props because it's ridiculous they are. And I never see anybody with these giant props in so just so that just shows you how hard that game is. Man, we got the sky screamer. But yeah, right now we are heading for the main entrance. We're about done for the day. It's been a pretty, pretty successful day. We've only been here a couple hours, but we got on quite a bit. We rode the log flume, we rode mine train, we rode the skyway over to the other side, and we uh, ate a nice burrito. Yeah, we got a lot done. Congo Rapids, oh, that was awesome. Congo Rapids is a lot of fun. I actually miss riding that. I haven't been on it in a couple of years, so that was nice. John, you had some fun. Any thoughts? Oh, on my own. What are your thoughts of today? What was your highlight? Sean, you're a dork. I am a dork, yes, that is true. All right, so yeah, we're gonna head out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little vlog. We've got the POVs coming back next week. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already, because I post these vlogs here all the time. And next time, we will be featuring Sean going down the Delaware for 25 miles and camping. Yeah, we're actually gonna go on a camping trip over the summer. I'm gonna vlog there, so that'd be fun. Yeah. All right, peace out. Uh, look who's working the parking over here. Oh, having fun, Sean. Are you having fun, Brandon? Oh, yeah. You're over here, are you by yourself? I like it yeah. better when you're not here so I can just get preferred parking for free. <laughs> <laughs> That's my not favorite today. thing to do on weeknights. On a busy day, that don't happen. Nope. Alright, see you later.